guys, so I thought I would do an updated uh, kind of like skin products sort of thing. So what kind of skin products I use to keep my face looking semi-normal. So I thought it would be pretty stupid to do this video <clears throat> without doing it with a fresh face so you can see exactly what my skin looks like. So this is me, completely natural, not a single scrap of makeup on my skin and as you can see I have this coloration around my eyes, I have dark circles, I have a tiny bit of blemishes there but overall I think on the scale of good to bad skin I would say I'm more on the good skin. Um, that's not being bragging or anything like that, obviously people suffer with acne, stuff like that, stuff that is awful but I'm quite lucky and I normally have quite clear skin other than like hormonal breakouts and all that crap. So I thought I would show you the products that I use on an everyday basis just to keep my skin looking and feeling nice. So the first product that I use in my skincare routine is this simple eye makeup remover. And the reason why I use this is I don't like using harsh chemicals on my eyes. Um, so this one has no oil in it, so it's great if you have oily eyelids or anything like that. No perfume and no colour, so it's super gentle. It's not going to like cause any irritation or anything like that. Not that I do suffer from any kind of irritable skin, but I just think it's better to use something that is more gentle on your eyes. And if you do suffer from like breakouts and stuff like that, the Simple Range is really good because it has no perfume and it has no colourings in it as well so it's not going to cause you any kind of irritation or anything. The next thing in my skincare is this Clearasil Daily Clear Skin Perfecting Wash and it cleanses and it gently exfoliates as well because it's got a tiny like graininess to the formula so when you pump it out and you're rubbing it on your skin you can feel a slight sandiness graininess to the product and I really enjoy this product it's great for washing away the dirt and clearing your skin right up and it also prevents spots um, and it does have a moisturizing complex which means it is very nourishing and moisturizing to your skin so it's not going to dry you out especially if you suffer from dry skin the next item is not something that I use daily, it's something that I use in between the other facial wash. So I'll use this say three times a week and then I'll use this in additional with this, the other four. Um, and it's a blackhead cleaning scrub. So this one has bigger grains in there, it clears your skin from blackheads. I do suffer from blackheads on my nose um, and slightly around this area here so it's really good for exfoliating and getting all that basically crap out of your skin so this formula is oil free as well um, I don't actually suffer from oily skin but I do like using products that are oil free just because I don't want any kind of excess oil sitting on my skin there so after I've done that the next product I use is this Clearasil Ultra Rapid Action Deep Pore Treatment Toner and it claims to visibly give you clearer skin in as little as 12 hours. I don't think it gives you visible clearer skin in 12 hours but I mean I wouldn't know because I don't have br kind of skin that breaks out that type of thing. Um, so what it does is it opens your block pores and gets all that nastiness out of there. It's not one of those toners that is dead tingly on your skin, it's kind of just, it's you feel it working but it's not over powerful and it also prevents breakouts as well so my tip for looking after your skin is even if you don't suffer from breakouts to always try and prevent breakouts because you don't know how your skin's going to change, how your body's going to change, how your hormones are going to change so if you prevent even when you don't have them then you're more likely not to get them kind of thing. Then after I've done that, a few other products that I like to use sporadically, not this one, the next one is everyday but the others aren't necessarily everyday. The next one that I like to use is this Indian Rose Face Cream and I think it's really important to use a moisturiser every single day because it's going to 
help prevent wrinkles, it's going to keep your skin nice and hydrated and that's a big thing about whether you look well or healthy or not is how hydrated your skin are. So you want to make sure you drink plenty of water and you want to make sure that you moisturise your face every day. Now I got this one free in a glossy box um, and I mean it's okay, it's just a job. It's not totally amazing but it's not crap either and this one is formulated for all skin types so if you do have dry or oily skin you can use this one. Another product that I like using is one that I picked up from the pound shop, yes, and it's this oriental clay mask and it's by the the brand Salon Creative and it's the green tea and jasmine one. So you can use this on a regular basis if you want. So what you do is you just apply this to your skin. It's basically this green face mask and I like to use this around two times a week and I usually apply it before I get in the bath so before I, I have a, a bath every single day so I like to do my full skin care routine before I get in the bath and then apply the um, clay mask and then I sit with it on my skin while I'm in the bath for around 10 to 15 minutes and then I rinse off while I am in the bath because it's just easier for me that way. I work full time and you don't always have the time to sit there for 15, 20 minutes with a mask on your face, but I do make the time to make sure I have a nice relaxing bath every day and that's when I normally do my clay mask. I'll also use it if I'm going out on a special occasion or something. Now, I will be honest, this stuff does sting your face quite a bit when you first put it on, but once it hardens and you've got over that stingy, nurse then it's okay and it is suitable for sensitive skin but I wouldn't recommend it for sensitive skin just because the stinging sensation might be a little bit too much for you. Another product that I like to use is this Clearasol Ultra Overnight Serum and this is just a kind of like it reduces redness and pimples overnight so if I do feel like I'm going to break out anywhere I will put this stuff on but I do like to use this once a week just in the t-zone area because this is where I tend to break out if I do break out so once a week I will apply this after I've done my nightly skincare routine I'll pop this on just before I go to sleep and that will just work its way in while I'm sleeping Two more products that I like to use. The first one is this Lush Bubblegum Lip Scrub and I think it's really important to look after your lips. A lot of people look after their faces but they don't necessarily think to look after the lips and this is just a sugar crush kind of lip scrub and you just put it on your lips like that and wick it in. And not a lot of people exfoliate the lips, it's not something that people really think about doing or always remember to do but I think it's really important so I like to use this say three to four times a week just in the mornings and I follow up with my next product which is a lip bar and I love this one it tastes really nice and it's not super abrasive either because you don't want to use the super abrasive lip scrub on your lips because that's not really that nice on your lips. Now the last product in my updated skin routine is this Nivea Milk and Honey Lip Balm and I like to use this once in the morning and once at night because I think it's super important to keep your lip moisturised. They are the bit of the body that we always forget about so I like to use this and this one is particularly my favourite just because it's really moisturising, it feels super nice and soft and smoothy, smoothy, smooth even and I just really enjoy this one. Any Nivea lip balm, to be honest, I really like, but especially this milk and honey one, I really like this one. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for taking the time to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.